Hello everyone, Ace here, and today, well, I'm just going to have to go ahead and say it. Do not abandon Warhammer 40k over the whole female custodies situation. Now, I assume that if you're watching this video, you already know very well what I am talking about. But for those who may not be aware, the latest codex for the Adeptus Custodes not only nerfed the entire faction into the ground, but also added female custodies into what has previously been an all-male faction. Needless to say, these changes weren't exactly popular for actual fans of Warhammer 40k, and so Games Workshop was questioned about the whole nature of this, to which they decided to try to gaslight everyone by pretending that female custodies have always been a thing, which obviously they have not. Adding yet more insult to injury is the fact that Games Workshop has resorted to blocking people who dare question them over this further, proving beyond any doubt that this is a position that GW themselves are not actually comfortable with defending, because they know it's nonsense just as much as everyone else. This does, however, allow me to move on quite cleanly to why I believe you should not abandon Warhammer 40k in the face of these circumstances. And yes, I know it is easier to just throw up your hands and say fuck it. And yes, I also know that there are already a number of people who have openly stated that they intend to abandon the fandom as a direct result as well. Well, I have to ask though, how many times we've seen fans abandon their fandoms, resulting in those franchises not only degenerating further as a direct result, but also this particular brand of pestilence that is wokeness spread further still. No matter how far you try to run, these progressive politics are going to chase down and destroy everything you love. Keep in mind these people believe that not only is everything political, but also that everything is propaganda, and it is this premise that they use to argue that everything should become pro-Marxist propaganda, as detailed in the Marxist theory of empire. The answer, therefore, is to under no circumstances ever abandon a particular fandom. Instead, what you should do is stand your ground and fight back. By all means, don't give GW money. By all means, make sure that you use 3D printed models whenever possible. And while I can't tell you to pirate their books, because I don't want this channel to get demonetized, but... I should probably move on to telling you something else you can do as well, which is constantly give GW shit for doing this. Now, under no circumstances should you harass any employees from Games Workshop. At the end of the day, that has to be condemned. I will, however, have zero issues in pointing out that criticism, plain and simple, is itself not harassment. So by all means, make sure to give them criticism for this, and do so to a far greater degree than they had ever received from far leftists for daring to not include female space marines. Completely rip from them any sense that they have actually achieved anything of note, other than causing their own fandom to hate them. At the same time, make sure that this criticism remains a constant factor for the next few months, at the very bare minimum. GW is banking on the idea that people will give up after a few weeks, so don't give up keep the pressure on. And you may be wondering why I am so insistent on keeping the pressure on with regards to this whole mess. Well, keep in mind, GW is wanting to accomplish two things here. First, these female custodies are a test to see if they can get away with adding female space marines later. Obviously, the whole point of picking the smaller, less popular faction was to see if they could get away with this, and at the same time drive away fans that they don't like to make the addition of female space marines more palatable later on. The other thing to note though is that GW is not themselves confident with this decision, which of course is why they've decided to block people for daring to question them. What this does tell us, however, if you're willing to read between the lines, is that perhaps with just enough pressure, it might actually be possible to get GW to change their mind on this stupid decision. This may seem like a pipe dream, but that's also what people said when it came to getting the developers behind Ion Fury to revert some of the stupid changes they were going to make to their IP. My my point is we've been able to accomplish exactly this sort of thing before, therefore we should be able to do it again. And keep in mind, with the pendulum swinging further back in our favor in the culture war, we should be now talking less about merely gatekeeping and more about reclaiming what has already been lost. The end of the culture war will not be the far left subjugation of all media. It will ultimately end with them relinquishing any and all holds they ever had. We've already seen this happen with Ghostbusters. It's only a matter of time before 
before it starts happening to other IPs as well. There will be a day when we once again can speak highly of Star Wars, rather than with shame and disgust like we do now. That day will come sooner, thanks to people who have decided to stay within the franchise, but highly critical of it, and remaining a constant thorn in the side of Disney. Keep in mind, you do not have to give these people your money in order to remain a fan. You don't have to like the modern media to be a fan either. Being a fan of the old lore is more than enough. Regardless of whether or not we're able to get GW to change their mind here and now, the reality is that we will inevitably be able to win back Warhammer 40k regardless. But the more people who decide to abandon the fandom now, the more likely it is going to take longer. Which of course brings me quite cleanly back to what I said at the very beginning of this video. Under no circumstances should you abandon Warhammer 40k over the matter of female custodies. That's ultimately what the person who made this change at GW actively wants you to do. They want you to leave the fandom so their side can claim it. They want you to give up. They want you to surrender. And so I say, do absolutely none of these things. Instead, you should remain a fan of Warhammer 40k, but be so in a way that absolutely makes you a thorn in the side of GW. The time has come to not simply hold the line, but actively push back. We may even be able to get them to change their mind now, but even if they choose not to, we can still absolutely accomplish it later on. It is not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. But that win is going to be determined at least to some part by how many people choose to stay with the fandom and also by how many people choose to remain a thorn in the side of GW. So that ultimately is my thoughts on this matter. As for what I intend to do with regards to this whole situation, well I'm going to pretty much be doing the exact same things that I have suggested that all of you do. Of course I'm not going to be abandoning Warhammer 40k and of course I'm going to continue to remain a thorn in the side of GW. I'm just going to make sure to start using 3D models more often Often when it comes to the miniature scene, and when it comes to video games, well, I'm just going to enjoy mods a little bit more. After all, the Unification mod did just recently receive a major update, so there are still plenty of ways to enjoy Warhammer 40k without giving GW any money. I will say though, as a final addendum, that should GW change their mind about implementing the female custodies, and instead decide not to make that change to the lore, then at that point we should actually be willing to at least consider spending hard-earned cash cash on stuff they make, provided it's actually good that is. After all, if GW decides to start listening to their fans, then that is behavior that we should reward to at least some degree. I believe I've said all that needs to be said here, so I'll finish by stating that I will of course endeavor to continue to keep my ear to the ground and keep you all informed should any more news come. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.